Hello, I'm Astro. I'm the creator of the Pritterine software and BitLove. If you are watching this video, this probably means you're downloading via BitTorrent, which is just great, because this is what BitLove is for. What can you do with BitLove? You can browse the podcasts whose publishers signed up to the service. Some not yet popular shows are to be discovered. And you can get the individual torrent files, with which you can download and later upload the audio and video data. We also offer um, podcast feeds that link to the torrent files. Please use a BitTorrent capable client, such as the great and free Miro software. Why would a podcaster distribute his or her content via BitTorrent? Luckily, I found many reasons for that. First off, shifting data transfer from servers to a peer-to-peer -peer network gets us a more efficient internet. Secondly, it's 2012 and bandwidth exceeding 50 megabits are very common now. You want the full bandwidth for your buck. Thirdly, podcasts are probably one of the last applications where end users subscribe to good old RSS feeds. Media consumption now happens via social media sites in real time. That causes listeners to flock in quickly after a publication, resulting in a bandwidth peak. And peer-to-peer -peer can allevi alleviate that because it removes the publisher's service as a bottleneck. Last but not least, this is another attempt to eliminate the bad reputation of file sharing by offering legal content. You might be annoyed by the flatter bots you see everywhere on the website. Please support the podcasters, it's their content. But also please support me, domains cost money, the server is producing a big bill, and I would love to order more servers for even more bandwidth. Also I want to try and see for myself if the internet can help me financing a project for the internet. Yet for now, happy torrenting.